Dear students, today we will see the problem from transformer coupled common emitter class A power amplifier. Before we go into the problem, just, um, just give the idea about why we need to go for this type of circuits. So, already in previous lecture, in class we have discussed class A power amplifier. The problem which we observe, that is the inference which we uh, from the lecture is, the power efficiency is very very poor in the class A power amplifier. To increase the efficiency of the class A power amplifier, we need to modify the circuit. That is, in the collector part, the resistance can be modified either with the inductance or, or placing some transformer. Okay, so in the previous lecture, we have discussed inductance coupled amplifier. This is a class A power amplifier. Today, we will see. A transformer coupled common emitter class A power amplifier. By using a, a transformer coupled uh, section, the collector section, I can improve the efficiency in the class A power amplifier up to 50 plus stage, theoretically. But practically, uh, there will be variation from 30 to 45, 46, we will get it. Okay, so we will go to the problem. So the given problem is, we consider that transformer coupled common emitter circuit. The parameters are 12, that is the supply voltage. R is the resistance which is connected across the emitter part. And R is the load resistance, 8 ohms, very very less, which is given for the load part. And R1 is a 2.3 kilo ohm and R2 is a 1.75 kilo ohm. And beta is 40 and base emitter voltage is 0.7 voltage. The points of voltage. Right. So, question here is determine the maximum power that can be delivered to the load. That can be delivered to the load if the voltage Vm is remain in the range of 2 to 20. Okay, so that means so we want to find the maximum power that can be delivered to the load. The voltage V1 is remain in the range of 2 to 20. So, first we want to understand the circuit. Plan. This is a divider biasing R1 R2. This is your transformer, primary revenue and secondary revenue. The secondary revenue is connected with the flow resistor R1 and primary revenue is this will be act as a R and dash. So, this is like a mirror intent of this R1. So, R and dash I can find by two meter that is A square into R1, otherwise VCC into VCC divided by ICK. So, the maximum drop uh, that is a voltage delivered to the load here is what they saying is 2 to 20. The span is 18. The span is 18, right? Because the range the given here is 2 to 2 to 20, that means maximum span is 18. So, positive peak 9 and negative peak of 9. So now that means you understand what you understand is the peak voltage is 9. That is a very important thing to proceed to the next part. So as usual, we first we want to find the, uh, uh, the parameters of the quotient point that is IBQ, ICQ, RTH and VTH. Then only we have to proceed to find what is the efficiency. So first we will be finding RTH. What is the formula for RTH? R1 parallel to R2. Right, that is 2.30 into 1.75 divided by 2.3 plus 1.75. It is calculated to be 0.998 kilohertz. Now I want to find what is the VTH. So when you rearrange this circuit, so with the Thomas model, already we have discussed in the previous lecture that I can uh, and I didn't understand through voltage divider rule that is. Uh, well, supply voltage into R to corresponding resistance divided by some of the total resistance, right? So, you will be getting uh, this 5.185 voltage. Now, when you apply the KVM for that uh, modified uh, uh, tonal sequence circuit, so you will be getting uh, like a IB equal to VBB minus VB1, which is points on RTH plus 1 plus beta times of RE. So, this everything we have discussed in the previous lecture. I hope uh, this is clear, right? So I want to plug in those values. That is, VVB is just uh, VTH uh, voltage. The VTH and VVB both are equal. That is, 5.185 minus 0.7 divided by 0 0.9938 plus 1 plus beta 41. That is, 1 beta is 40 and into 0, 0.0. So I will be getting 2.43 milliamps. Now, 
you want to find what is the ICQ. ICQ is nothing but a beta times of I BQ. So that is 40 into your base current will be getting 19.91 milliamps. Now we want to find what is the efficiency. What is the efficiency formula? That is a uh, load power divided by source power. So source power you will be calculated by VCC into ICQ. The load power will be calculated by 1 by 2 VP square divided by your R, RL dash because we want to find across this point so that is a RL dash because that is a voltage it is given here so you can see here so this is a voltage across this point RL dash ok now uh, formula I am repeating again load power formula is 1 by 2 VP square divided by RL dash so RL dash is unknown for you or you can find I said 2 formula in the starting one is a VCC by ICQ and also IC is IA square of R. So VCC is told and ICQ is 0 0.098 time ohm that you have calculated. That you can see here. And if you calculate that is found to be 121.3 ohms that is equivalent to the A square of P. From here I can find what is the terms. This 3.89. Right. So RL dash is a needed parameter to proceed to find the PL so that is uh, calculated to be 121.3 ohm when you write in terms of kilo ohms that is 0 0.1213 so uh, 1 by 2 your VP so that is very important see here I am repeating again the span is 2 to 20 that means 18 is your uh, span so positive peak is 9 and negative peak is 9 so that's why I have taken the peak voltage of 9 so I hope you understand. So load power is 333.9 watts and source power of 1.187 watts. So efficiency will be getting 0 0.3339 and divided by 1.187 into 100 you will be getting 28.7 percentage. So theoretically when you see in this uh, theoretical uh, lecture I will explain you like a 50 percentage when you modify your class A power amplifier with the transformer coupled uh, class A power amplifier but practically in the mathematical analysis with the given values we have determined to be 28 points ok so I hope uh, this is clear we will see the next problem in the coming class thank you